Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Tony and uh, today I have the Nano Factor Network Analyzer. It's the H4. It uh, has the latest firmware. Uh, so without any changes it will uh, work into 1.5 GHz. Um, it has the accessory box. It is already in the in the plastic casing, so it's a complete kit. Um, well, let's see uh, what it does. Here we have the package. It came uh, nicely packed. Sent as a LED module. Thank you for that. That will save me some import and extra wrappings. Very nice. And then here it is. Look talking about detail this looks very nice it's the h4 which means uh, the h is i think there's a casing and the 4 because this is not a 2.4 but a 4 inch so uh, the screen is a lot bigger and uh, yeah so let's see the firmware is different though from the 2.4 because it uses a different processor so you cannot do the 0.7 firmware update to make it go to 2.5 gigahertz but it will probably come because it is a little bit faster ah, they put extra padding that is nice let's see it's the menu okay Oh, but uh, looks very nice. It's in English. Makes a huge difference. Oh, this is not so bilingual. Smart. What is in the box? We have here the analyzer itself. I did charge it already. You could see I uh, did open the box because I wanted to charge it first. But uh, let's switch it on. Look, it boots super fast and it's already running. But we need to calibrate it first. So uh, we're gonna do that. We check first what else is in the box. Well, we have the charge cable and the cable to connect it to the computer if we want to. There is an other. This one is the USB. I think it's an A connector, and then the little USB C. We have the same USB C to C. Uh, a little cord because it's for portable. We have two straight cables. Which is nice. We have a little connector, and then here we have several things. Uh, one should be a short, and one should be a 50 ohms. So let's see. I don't know which one is which one. Uh, take some force to take it out. It doesn't say which one is the short. Uh, maybe. Oh no, this is the not the short. This is the open. And then oh, so, sorry, <laughs> it is stuck. Maybe I uh, need to push it out. Yeah, well, this is clearly the short because it's just all metal. So we have the open, we have the short, and then this should be the 50 ohms. And I will measure that to be sure. So to calibrate that, we probably need to go to a test procedure with the short, with the open, with the 50 ohms, and with the 100% feedback. So let's uh, start. Okay, let's measure the dimmy load. 51. So, okay, that is more or less our 50 ohms. All the short and the open are uh, well, explaining themselves now. So. Okay, let's see. Power on. It is a touchscreen. Uh, power on button. 
menu button left right and push so uh, we can power on I already charged it should be full power on Pew. that was fast so let's see what we can find oh mm -hmm. um, well, let's calibrate first before we start anything calibrate top uh -huh. I think I need the stylus but okay open well mm. how does that work so I need to find a pen first I think okay switch on boots Pew. it's super fast I don't know what this is. It's uh, sees a lot. <laughs> um, calibration. Reset first. Okay. That looks a lot better. Calibration. Calibrate. Open. Okay, yeah, I think that was open. And then we short. This is open. Now let's get the short. Short. And then we put the load. Well, if it's 50 ohms, then... It should be in the middle, the 50 ohms. It does. Here is our 50 ohms. So, that is okay. Load. Isolation. I have no clue how I should do that. Um, doesn't say on the paper so I think the two are isolated right now so and then I need to put the true no, this would be the true okay true and done Save to zero. Okay. Let's connect an antenna. Here I have a diamond uh, dual band for two meters, seventy centimeters. It's uh, on a magnet, so I will just put it on some iron in the back, and uh, then we will see what the meter does. Okay, I put it in the corner, so maybe we have uh, lex, uh, less uh, reflections as we had before. Uh, it's kind of uh, busy. <laughs> so let's see first. So we can see if you look at the yellow lines, we have a dip here, we have a dip here, and we have a dip here. So probably let's zoom in on that. Mm, I'm checking here. Where's my marker? Okay. Okay, I was trying to drag the marker, but apparently it doesn't want it, so why not? Ah, there it goes. Okay, that was my mistake. Uh, you should not drag the marker, but you should use your buttons on the top, the left, right, and you can push to get the value, I think. So let's see this is our first dip and you also see it's going to the center now if you look uh, vertical wise here so that means we close to our 50 ohms uh, here is already a little dip what frequency is this this is 135 and here it is uh, the best value it's around 141 and then it goes all up so, and we should have another dip in the 70 centimeters, so we're gonna try that. 
I put the start frequency on let's put 410 I'm, I, I'm not sure where the dip is and then we go up to stop frequency 460 yes and here we have another dip oh, we need to work with the arrows Here's our other dip, almost 50 ohms, frequency of 439, so well, that is uh, good. Now let's see, we can have an SWR, I think, let's go back, display, format, I think, SWR, and here you can see we have a SWR of 1.37 on this frequency so it's uh, very nice to look at your antenna where it dips i did see there was a third dip okay um i have here also the triplexer again from uh, diamond i think it is and uh, i did use this filter to see how the usb uh, spectrum analyzer worked with the uh, tracking uh, generator uh, this thing is more or less the same, so we should uh, be able to do the same. Uh, the output signal here goes through the filter. We take one of the exits of the filter and we feed it back into the channel 1. And then we should be able to see more or less the same, I think. So let's try. Okay, connected that. It's on the first port that should start from 1 to. can't read that. to 160. So let's see where it really starts. We move the arrow. We have one dip here. That is 144. And then it goes up, and here it stops. So 144. Well, that's exactly where it uh, should be for two meters. Now it's to the second port. That should be the 70 centimeter. So, so if we are around somewhere the 430, that would be great. So we start moving the marker and we are now in the sweet spot and it says 432 i think uh, that's close enough this is a pretty good filter now let's see if we can go a lot higher because uh, 223 centimeter okay it's connected to the last port of the triplexer it should be uh, the 22 centi 23 centimeters it does not do that by default i see so let's change again the stimulus the start it will be one gig okay and uh, stop uh, no 1.5 is the maximum so the 1.4 gig And it is actually doing that, so it does go that high. And I see multiple dips, to be honest. So let's see our marker. This is the first dip. That is 10.92. Well, that's not really 23 centimeters, but this is 11.60. There is a dip. And here we have. Well, it's kind of smart because it automatically detects if I uh, have my channel zero for the reflection, or it, uh, or or if I uh, have a true. Because here I thought, okay, let's. Uh, I'm impressed. Four inches, nice big display. It boots 
super fast. Look at this. Bang. Um, I didn't read the uh, manual. I just started playing with it and uh, it all works like you, you think it should be. Uh, we tested an antenna. Uh, we tested the filter. It, uh, yeah, I would say it's a go. Go for it. It's $60 and you can do everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you next time.